Hey, Radiance here. Let's create a reusable banner component that looks nice, is dismissible and has a call to action. Since we are developers and not graphic designers, we will use an image for the visual part. Here is an example of how I displayed in my app at Increasure.org to prompt people to watch a YouTube video related to the page topic. You can find both the demo and the source code in the description. The image banner component accepts five properties. On close, a function that will be called when the user clicks the close button. Action is usually a button that will be displayed at the bottom of the banner, the title of the banner, an image for the background, represented as a React element instead of an image path to ensure compatibility with different frameworks like Next.js or Gatsby. Render interactive array is a function that wraps the banner with an interactive element, such as an external link or button that triggers an action in the app. Let's check habits education banner component from Increaser to see how to use the banner. We store the interaction timestamp in the local storage. If the user has already closed the banner or clicked on it, we don't show it again. For more information on setting up solid local storage, please refer to this video. To avoid extra work, the banner will have the same appearance in both dark and light modes. We achieve it by wrapping it with a theme provider and making the dark theme the default for the banner. We render the banner inside the external link component, which is an anchor element. This will open the video in a new tab. To track interaction with the banner, we add an on-click handler that updates the interaction date. Since the banner is wrapped with an anchor, we don't want the action to be an interactive clickable element. Therefore, we refer it as a diff element and exclude the on-click handler. To ensure proper contrast between the title and the image background, we have selected a custom title color. For more information on effectively managing colors with HSLA format, please refer to this video. Finally, we pass an image which is wrapped with a safe image component. This component won't render anything if the image fails to load. I found the mountain image on Unsplash, but next time I might use AI generative tools like Midjourney. The cover image component takes up the entire space and sets object feed to cover. Now let's look at the implementation of the image banner component. Since we cannot render a button inside another button, we need to wrap the banner with a position relative element and render the close button absolutely. We use an abstract component called action inside interactive element to achieve this. The close button has the background of a text element and contains a close icon. We position it 20 pixels from the top and right of the banner. We wrap the content with an interactive element based on the consumer's choice by calling render interactive area and passing the banner itself as a child. The banner has the same shape as a panel component with a position set to relative, a defined mean height and a box shadow to make it stand out better in light mode. On hover, we make the image zoom in and make the button bigger by using transform scale. To draw attention to the title and button, we blur the background on the content area with a mist extra color. For more information on an effective color palette for both dark and light mode, please check out my other video. All children inside the container are positioned absolutely. We make the image take up the entire space and then render the content, which includes the title and blurs the image that is positioned below the container on hover. Finally, we position the action button and set pointer elements none since the entire banner is already clickable. To become an effective programmer, check out my productivity app at increaser.org.